Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to continue with some additional examples of how to take the derivative of logarithmic functions. Here we have the natural log of x divided by 1 plus x squared. Now sometimes it's a good idea to use the techniques that we've learned before, simplifying expressions like this. Since we have the natural log of a quotient, we can write that as the difference of two natural log functions. So let's go ahead and do that. We can say that y can now be written as the natural log of x minus the natural log of 1 plus x squared. And it's easier to take the derivative of each one of those separately. So let's go ahead and do that. Then dy dx is equal to the derivative of the first one, which is simply 1 over x, minus the derivative of the second one, which is 1 over 1 plus x squared times the derivative of that denominator, which in this case would be 2x. So this can now be simplified as 1 divided by x minus 2x over 1 plus x squared. Now we could leave it like that, or we can write it over a common denominator, which would be the common thing to do. The common denominator would be the product, so this becomes equal to, in this case, that would be uh, 1 plus x squared. The common denominator would be x times 1 plus x squared. That means that this numerator needs to be multiplied times x, so that would be minus 2x squared. And then simplifying what's in the numerator, so we have 1 minus x squared in the numerator divided by x times 1 plus x squared. And that's probably the more compact form to write the answer, which in this case would be the derivative of our original function. And that's how it's done. 